All right, uh, welcome back again. So now I'm going to resolve the second uh, um, merge conflict, which is my profile test page. So this one looks a little bit messy um, if you look at it from here, but however, um, it's always like that. That's why I like to use this tool. So let's see how it goes this time. All righty. So again, on the left side, um, you can see the local file. Uh, in the beginning, it's a base file. And on the right, it's a remote, which is master. Um, well, okay, so let's, let's see. So if you just click to the first conflict, which is this red thing here, um, it looks scary, but uh, you can actually see what's, what's going on here. So on the left side, which is after refactoring, we applied a page object model pattern. So now we have this nice looking code where all the locators are wrapped up in a profile page, which is definitely not the case for the green one. So uh, for the green one, we had this, uh, uh, we had this uh, page object model as well but it looks a little longer. There was actually a login baked in. And in the middle here, we have a, a boilerplate code really, which is like exposing all the elements and just too many details. That's why it's uh, very big. So by just looking at this, um, the way to go is really the, the, one, the one we have right now, the blue one. Uh, however, uh, the tool actually doesn't know what is this about, so it offers us, us to keep all of those things, uh, which is not the case. So I'm going to just click this blue button here. And as you can see, it will, um, once I do that, uh, the yellow and uh, green piece, pieces are gone, and it's only the blue thing here now. Um, which is looks about right to me. So we can click the next button to see the next um, uh, next issue here. Uh, which is this one. So let's see what it is here. So there was a commented out text. Um, basically, we had it here. Then uh, it still resides on the remote in the master. However, we actually deleted it here. Um, different referral code test. So, okay. I'm not quite sure why it actually got deleted here. Um, so for now, I'm just going to keep uh, one of the versions just in case because uh, um, I'm not the owner here. I don't even know what it does or what was the intention behind this test. So in that case, I'm just gonna keep the one of this guys, which is, let's say, it's gonna be a green one, just because I don't know. Well, this one doesn't look right to me. I can just remove that. And then we can go to the next conflict, which is this issue here, basically just the closing the class itself. And um, well, I mean, it looks fine to me, really, as it is here. So I can just probably do save and then the exit. And that's it. And this is my profile test file. So uh, my profile tests, which is this one. Um, as you can see, that piece is here. 
Um, I don't think it's crying, so let me actually build this and see how it goes. I think it should be all good. Um, yeah, we can actually run this. Um, sorry, so this one and since it's all good, we don't really need this file. So I'm gonna remove that. Um, that's it and everything is ready to be staged. So some files got deleted and now we have login tests and okay, it looks fine to me. So just gonna commit those changes. Um, Pushing and the tests are running. First two passed. I really don't even know what they do. Um, as I mentioned, this is not my code. Some other test cases that I've never seen. Probably so, yeah, it's running. And in the source tree, it's all good. So yeah, one of the test cases failed, but I'm not gonna fix it right now. It's probably some, some other issue. All right, uh, thank you guys and hope uh, makes sense to you. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna post more videos on how to resolve conflicts uh, pretty soon, bye.